kickoff. Absolutely. Less us, more gameplay. We've had three incredibly close matches, Rico, and we're looking to make it number four in our second semifinal here at the Steelers Championship. We are live from Heinz Field. The PNC Champions Club. Now, starting off, you definitely want to make sure you put your best foot forward. With both of them trying to feel each other out, do you see more of a run or a pass to start this? Uh, normally for Snap Onik, who just ran the ball right there, he loves to pass. He is a huge, huge proponent of just airing it out all over the field. Feels like he can do it as you see here. Wow, good defense. Fumble, oh. Ruski ball is out and Misery jumps on it. Sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard. It starts out tough for Snap Onik with the fumble. But did you see how excited Misery was even before the play? He's bobbing, he's dancing. He doesn't even realize that there is a packed house, the lights are on, and he's on the biggest stage he's ever been on. He's, yeah. he's playing like he's in his living room. That's the key, Rico, that's the key. These guys qualified through the online ladder, so they were the top four players on Xbox and the top four players on PS4. They played online to get here. They beat out thousands of other players. And when you play online, you know what? You grab a Pepsi, you sit on the couch, you hang out, you play a bunch of games in a day, you get a rhythm, you get up where, you know, you got your, you're on your time. When you're under these lights here at a live event, things change. People get a little bit tight. Uh, that didn't happen so far for Misery. He's been out to tournaments in New Jersey, some of the challengers, but, oh, not quite a major. And on third and eight, he can't find an open receiver through in traffic, but a good high point idea. He's going to settle for three. Once again, everybody's making it down to the red zone, but not getting seven, which makes it even more of a factor to take your points when you can get them, because you never know when you'll get them. And he's subbing in his kicker, Justin Tucker. He's going to punch it through, three nothing. Look, turnovers turn into points. You'd love to get seven in that situation, but was able to uh, hold him. Now, for those of us who are wondering, how come he didn't take a delay of game penalty then make the change? Why did he burn a timeout there? Rico, that's a great question. I am wondering the same thing. That's a smart maneuver. You figure you save that timeout and only move it back five yards. That, that would have been a sharp tactic. Maybe we'll uh, have to check in with him after the game. Well, you're the, I mean, you might be the Madden historian, but right there, you're a little Madden, little Madden gameplay expert. Well, you know, I, I try to be cerebral when I can. What would you say is the correct level of percentages to be a great Madden player? How much is game management a factor? You know, clock management, personnel management. What, what percentage does that lead to winning? Here's a great example where I can break that down. I think it's huge for the average player to be able to do that. Yeah. But then there are some players that are just so good that they don't need. Like Sandman was terrible at managing clock. Yeah. But he was up by 40 every game, so it didn't matter. It was only when you got him into a close game it came back to bite him in those three losses over a couple of years. Whereas you had a player like Gooch, oh, look at that hit, who was not average, but he was better than average in the, in the top level. But because of his clock management, because of his smart, he was never going to beat himself. He was able to hang and beat the upper echelon and top players. Even if his X's and O's weren't quite as on point. Absolutely. And what do you get when you combine somebody who has X's and O's with a game plan and with clock management? Problem. You get problem. You Absolutely. get problem. You get the greatest to ever do it, the guy who sits number three in the championship series in points. Top 32 in May go to L.A. for a chance at $500,000 prize pool. Now, Snap had the flat open but decided to take his shot up top, and he dropped it. Fourth and two. He needs this first down. You don't want to give to go down. Great user by Misery, and that's a big hit. That's, uh, I think, Paul Krause getting out there in the flat. Did you see he was on the defensive lineman, but he flared himself out right at the snap? That flash made Snap hesitate for just a quick second, and that was enough for him to turn it over, and Misery loves company. Snaponic is sad right now because he's trailing 3-0 and gave up the ball on that fourth down, inability to convert. 
Seems like Misery loves defense, too, because he is clamped down. Uh-oh. That pressure was coming, but he was able to get rid of the ball. No doubt. I mean, look, Snap Onik is a great player. He's 28 years old. We've said it. He's in the Cardinals defense. He's going to run some 3-4 over and some big dime. He's going to send defense. If he wins this thing, he told me that a lack of mistakes will be the reason that he wins it. And Misery, though, playing really well. He's got Marshawn Lynch. He took on D. Geis in the first game of the day. It was a 31-24 barn burner. But one of the things that separated him from D. Geis, Misery being the two seed, D. Geis being the seven seed, was a big fumble six uh, for a score. And he already got a fumble that led to three. So more of the same for Misery. Sending a lot of heat, and now he's back on offense. He'll definitely accept all those gifts. Now second and 10, minute 50 remaining, ball on the 37 yard line as Misery looks to lengthen the lead. Speaking of Misery, he's a Falcons fan. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, he hit the B button on him. Good spin move in the flat. Look, Rico, a lot of the way these defenses are constructed here is they put big time hit power down in the flat, so they give you the short throw but then they punish you with a big tackle that could force a fumble. Those hits add up. You see him trying to scoot through, and, and uh, he ultimately outran him to the edge, but the, juke move, or the spin move in the flat prevented a big hit from a, a potential fumble. All right, second and nine. They're at the 20, approaching that red zone. This is where you'd like to punch it in if you can, because you don't want to get down to that seven or five yard line and have to come up with the play. Got X across the middle. That's the backbreaker, Rico. The 20-yard line is the exact position you want to throw that. And he got 15 yards because he came back to it with an aggressive catch. But if he had had a little bit more distance, like the 22, he could have just caught it and ran in. But that route's so tough to guard from zone because you take everything else away, and then there it is. All right. Well, here he goes. He's going to get a chance to show us his red zone offense. First and goal from the five. Can he get seven? Or is he going to have to settle for three once again? Let's see if he goes to a high point in the red zone. He's at the five-yard line. This is a great area to throw. Randall Cunningham instead hands off in beast mode. Can't get the carry. You know beast mode wishes he got that carry in the, in the goal line a couple years ago. Will he continue to give beast mode the carry, or is he going to take it to the air? Let's go. I think he's going to throw. Let's see if he takes it to the quarter. More importantly, he's got... Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, Jerry Rice, and Julio Jones as some options down inside that red zone. We have our first quarter in the books. Misery is leading 3-0 here at the Pittsburgh Batten Club Series over Snaponic. Snaponic using Derek Carr as his quarterback would make one of his uh, turf team crew proud. Shugs, who's currently competing in uh, the challenge group stage. Cunningham, dot. That is a run commit, and that's just too easy of a touchdown. Quick slants, maybe thought he was going to run. He fooled him into it. And we've seen that before. That was how Problem won. When he got him the run commit, found that wide open pass. That's how Problem won against Duke. Problem last night against Lights. I believe he actually ran commit twice in the red zone, and it led to some touchdowns for, for Lights. So run commit is a very aggressive tactic. Um, Part of the game management is part of like understanding, you know, the sense of like when is somebody definitely going to do something. I think, remember, Dubby did not run commit against Problem, and then it still had a defender on, on the uh, inter faded interception play. So there's a lot of the times like you think you're going to get a run commit, so you're, you're ready to pass. But then if they don't, well, now, now you're in a, a not yeah, great play. So B. it's a lot of mind games that go on at a high level of Madden, and they all factor in, but that was. Too easy for Misery. He's already up 10 nothing. snap, though. Looking to drive back down the field. David Johnson takes a hit from Mel Blunt, the Steelers legend. All right, Snap's going to definitely need to make sure he gets a first down here. You cannot give this ball back to Misery once again. And he took it to the air. Look at that pressure. Third and one cannot become fourth and 13. And he had a route open across in the middle. I think he got spooked. The left side came in, but it, it, it looped to the middle instead, and he just froze up. Pressure got there, and 
Moore coming from misery and an interception. His receiver maybe threw it just a quick second too early. And that's the Madden is sometimes hard face. And <laughs> misery sitting back like Madden is sometimes easy. He has made me a believer as well. First and 10, Misery takes back over, already up 10 points. Missed tackle, edge, Marshawn Lynch carrying that ball on the left hand down to the five yard line. First and goal, Misery. Oh yes, 10 nothing, about to add to it, barring some unforeseen turnover. Misery is definitely sitting. Right now. Remember, he got a run commit earlier, so you know he likes to run it down here in the red zone. He's uh, spinning the stick, putting on a little show here. Hey, one thing I've learned in my illustrious career, win if you can, lose if you must, but always look good for the camera. And there he takes it down to the four yard line where Vernon makes the tackle. Fullback dive. Saw that work for FMB most wanted in his last game when he defeated Boogs in a tight battle. Misery trying to figure out where to run this ball with Marshawn Lynch. Can't fall forward, but does make it down to the two yard line. Oh, this is gonna be a big play right here. The two, you need two yards. Is this two down territory though? Is he gonna go third and fourth or is he gonna take three? If he, he, doesn't get if it he gets to the, to the one, I could see him going for it, but he hasn't shown me anything that Awesome. I think you're super happy with 13. Arshon, beast mode. Raining Skittles here at Heinz Field. Misery up 17-0. Anthony Pulley from Philly. Representing 23 years old. He came out of the Xbox side. He's showing you why he's the number two seed. That he is. 17-0. And he gets the ball back in the second half. Wow. This is a time. So if you're Snaponic, people have seen your name atop the online leaderboard for years. Rico, I would log in, I'd check the leaderboard. Okay, how far down am I? Okay, let me crawl all the way up to the top. Two minutes later, I get to the top of the leaderboard. I see Snaponic there. And it's never quite translated into major, like EA Sports Championship major tournament success. He's, he's gone out in a few of the single elimination rounds because they're so chat they're tough they're tough they're tough um but he has the skill he has the talent and he's proven it he's played the amount of games he can beat the best players it's just stringing it all together if he wants to do it uh you know gibbs has put a curse on him every time there's a single elimination gibbs is like you got it snap S snaps getting out and that's my guy and then unfortunately there's been you know more room for he even chats. said it yesterday yeah. He yeah. said that's been worse than the Rico's Rock Solid Pinkers. Well, he's going to need to go. Uh-oh. He waits. Dot. That's nice. That's great patience. Antonio Brown takes it up the field, and he's moving down, and he needs this drive before the half. That's some good patience. That's also a tough way to make a living, <laughs> to have to do that. He'll yeah. adjust as the game goes on. I feel confident in that. Being down 17 and knowing you're not going to get the ball back in the second quarter. I mean, the second half. Yeah, I mean, Does that change whether you go for three or seven here? No. I mean, you, you got to pull it in. Uh, Misery's been, been good enough on offense, but really he's had short fields. You haven't made him have a, a long drive yet. And if you snap, that's where you got to be. Well, he's definitely trying to get in there now. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. 17 nothing. Misery has jumped out. Oh. So pressure off the left side has been causing Snap-Onic trouble. That's aggressive defense. He is going to take the three. And now, I mean, not only does Misery get the ball at half, but he's going to get one more two-minute drive with two timeouts. Plenty of time to really do anything and potentially push it back up to a three-score lead getting the ball. He was down 17. He was down 17. He might be down 21 now going in. That field goal may have hurt him. He'll be all right. He'll be all right, man. This kid can fight Rico. Uh-oh. You know what that means. The last time I thought it was over and you said 
It wasn't over. That's when FMB made his miraculous comeback. The most wanted in our last game was down 21 to three. You know who else was trailed 21 to three? And then eventually 28 to three? New England. And they battled back hard in that game. We've seen some good comebacks. Uh, it's never over, especially in this year's Madden where defense is so important. He's letting the clock tick a little bit and run down. Misery is looking to extend this lead before it goes into the half. Hey, let's see if he throws. Yep. Hung on, and Snaponic's not happy about that. That should have been a possession catch. I think Larry decided to go one-handed for the fans here at the PNC Champions Club. Uh, They're definitely appreciating it, too. But the hit stick could have knocked that ball loose, so he got fortunate. Uh, he had the short route early, and then it developed into the route later. He's got to send some pressure here to get him out of that. He's in a 3-4 look. Ooh -ooh. Oh, Pancakes, Rico. What you have for breakfast? Pancakes and French toast. Maybe a waffle. And they were, the crepes were phenomenal. They had crepes today. That was interesting. <laughs> I passed. Second in one, 50 seconds here. I ran. Misery with the ball, up 14, trying to extend his lead. Lynch in the backfield. I love his showmanship. He is just having a ball here. <laughs> he just toys with everybody and, and just makes it fun for all the fans. Ooh, and that extended to the edge. I think it's going to be third and one. I thought he maybe had the lane. He tried to go out wide. Clock's still ticking. He's got two timeouts left, so perhaps if he scores a, a field goal. <laughs> if he scores a touchdown on this drive, you have to give him a ton of credit. Yeah. Because he's been, let's just say, reckless with the clock management to my, to my thought process right now. But if he can get seven, I tip my hat. Let's see if he goes to a high point to Jerry. Uh, no, he's going to slam it back across the middle. He's user in the A route, comes back, Julio. So he must know something about that, that route where he gets him to turn around and then he throws the high point. I actually think that, that people are turning on their Xboxes right now to lab that live. Because uh, he's now done it twice in double coverage. And if you're as good as Misery is, you don't throw in double coverage twice by accident. So perhaps there's timing on that play. Reminds me a little bit of Madden 12. A guy by the name of Ramsey's Barden, six foot six from the Giants. You put him on a fade, and when he got to the end zone, he'd turn around, and then you'd make it rain. He's doing a little something like that. He's not hanging on, but he wouldn't be doing that by accident. He wouldn't make two, two, do it twice. The field goal's three. up and good. 20 to three to finish out our first half here. It has been dominated all by misery. And he's getting the ball back. He's getting the ball. He's here. He's in his hometown both these guys want to represent the Steelers on April 15th live from Los Angeles and you're right Rico he's putting on a show a little celebration <laughs> airplane ride, die, ride, die, ride, die. that's the D Jones <laughs> that, that, that's the D Jones right there Misery's just sitting there looking like what do I do next and then you gotta love snap who's looking like what do I do next <laughs> one drive at a time Got to get a stop, stand up for yourself, try and shoot through. The problem is Marshawn Lynch is who Misery is using at halfback. And it's the ultimate legend. 47 uh, caps. I don't believe it's the full-on Marshawn Lynch, but still a great option. And then when you pay too much attention to the run game, guys like Larry Fitzgerald carve you up downfield. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw Randall Cunningham lose. He's a great quarterback inside of Ultimate Team. Uh, he's the right balance of cap. You can go a little bit more expensive and utilize the Steve McNair. You can use the Aaron Rodgers, who doesn't maybe have quite as much of the legs. The one thing with Randall Cunningham is he does not have conductor, Rico, which lets you make multiple hot routes before the snap. However, oh, was that right there? Second and 17. Misery on offense with the lead, with the ball, with the clock in his favor. Snap, just looking for an answer. He needs to do something here. That first down was, was an attempt. There's three here if you want it. Final score could be 24-23. He just has to stand up for himself, as you said. 
That's RG's line, and I love it. I don't quite say it with the same amount of passion or fervor, <laughs> but that's yeah, what it's going to take. Speaking of RG lines, way to pay homage to, to RG. A lot of homage. Yeah, he definitely Let's deserves go. to be homaged. <laughs> Oh, yes. Misery up 20 to 3. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. I like how he's running clock without running clock. Yeah. In he, this first half. Absolutely. Third and 15. He's going to look to the deep corner. Let's see if he can get the route. It was usered. Is he going to do the scrambling? Trying to make a play. Throws the ball away. And he is going to go up with a field goal 23 to 3. This is where Snap needs a block. He needs a spark. He needs a special teams play. Let's see if he can get one. See him trying to move his guys off the left side. Can he get a block? Can he get in and find a way to turn this thing in his favor? We've seen momentum shift in many of these games. Can't get it. But Misery can get that field goal and take that 20-point lead. Two minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 23 to 3. Misery leads Snaponic at the PNC Champions Club. Heinz Field, Pittsburgh, Madden Club Series. Pat's offensive playbook for Snap. Says he's going to pass the ball everywhere and he needs it. He needs a route combo, which is one of the guys in his turf team crew. Jesus Cross, Hashugs, Kilo, X. Oh, wasn't able to hold on to it, but that was a risky pass. While it looked like he was open, there was safety help over the top that was closing quickly, and through that, make him a jump ball. The throw was there, the, it's just a, maybe a quarter second late. The reads are just one second off, and that has to do a lot with Misery's pressure. Uh-oh, Ladarius, I believe, breaking a tackle, tries to back juke and snaps, moving the ball a little bit here. Spinner, an aggressive defense. If you can get the ball out and break a tackle, you see that it can gain you many, many yards. And he needs many yards and many points, and he needs them quickly. He has wide, wide open. Good Great job. Great throw back across the middle to David Johnson. He knew that was there, Rico. And that's the level of precision you expect to see from Snap. Not only did he know it was there, he ran to the other side to make the manual coverage follow him. Dot. Great job. And that's Julio Jones. And now Snap is working it. Feeling good about that drive. 16 passes so far today. He now only trails by 13. It's where defense has to adjust. The problem is Misery is not going to put the ball in harm's way. He knows how to run the rock. He's been doing a great job running the clock so far. And that's where that field goal before the half was pretty crucial. Absolutely. We cannot count snap out. Stranger things have happened today. Fumbles happen all across the place, Rico. Misery got one to start the game on a sack. Snap's going to have to force some pressure. He wants to force Misery into a snake. When you're the higher... Uh, a mistake. When you're the higher seed, you rarely make mistakes. Uh-oh. Might be making... No, but he finds his wide open receiver. But there's a big hit. That's Jalen Ramsey from the Jaguars. The hit's add up in the flat. That's what they like to do with these schemes. But did not force a fumble. That's Marshawn Lynch there. All right, trips punch to the right. 23-10. Needing to make something happen. Seven seconds on the play clock. Rice is going to go right to left. And the handoff is sealed, and Lynch crawls back in. Rico, there's some commotion going on here at the Champions Club. What's happening? That's <laughs> Ryan Shazier and Jesse James are playing the fans in Madden right now. It, on X? Yes. In Madden? They're actually playing them in Madden. They're taking on some fans here. Everybody's having a great time. There's action there. There's action here. We have our great game going on in front of us. This is Madden Palooza <laughs> here at Hines Field. Yes, check them out. That's Jesse James, former Penn State Lion, six foot seven. He's taking on a youngster in that, and I bet that youngster's giving him all he can handle. You know. And look how focused James here is. Here's on the other side. He looks locked in. He looks like some of our competitors from earlier, like focused, ready, staring at the screen, trying Talk. to get a victory. Uh oh. And you see who's making their way over there to play as well. Dubby's looking to get his hands on one of them. 
Going to go whisper some plays into the young kid's ears like... That's a heck of a yep, coach to have. Run some corner strike. <laughs> well, speaking of coaching, it's second and 11. Misery is milking this clock to perfection. He's going to make sure every second goes by that possibly can. That's a great throw across the middle, Rico. And he had the block right behind it that was able to pick it up. Misery has... This has been the best I've seen, even with Boogs going up 21-3 and everything. This is the best someone's looked to me so far today. What's so impressive about this is he's probably going to take it to the quarter, is that he's doing it against the player of snaps level, and then also just that he's making it look easy. Like, there hasn't been any big fourth downs. There hasn't been, you know, even long yardage downs. You see how much easier it is with a lead and with manageable situations? That's often the difference in these games of Madden. Especially Madden 17. Absolutely right. Now, I would have loved to have looked at that. I'm mad at myself for not seeing what time he took over the ball. I think he has a chance to run this whole quarter out. He is making sure that he takes every time. You need to switch up something if you're snap. Send more pressure. Disguise your zone. Look like man, disguise your man. Look like zone. Follows me. Take a chance. Manually blitz. You, you got to come up with something here. Yeah, just something to throw him off. You see him bring the safety down, and there it is. And, and he's been burnt when he's done that a couple times. And Fitz cannot get his feet in, but that's why he's re hesitant to do that. I'm with you, Rico. You know, if things, to, to get a stop, you got to change it up. But that's also where you give up a wide open touchdown. It's like, why would he do that? So I trust him to make the right adjustment. He needs one, though, on third and 10. Right oh, there it is. Great. Scream. And that puts him in a long fourth and 20. That's Khalil Mack. And he's probably going to need to punt now in this situation. And look, Snap gets the ball. He's got to drive. He's got his timeouts. And we've talked about it before, Rico. Sometimes you have a, a big lead, and all of a sudden uh, you, you get the ball back, and you still have the lead. But the pressure go, shifts to you, even though you got the lead. And that's a situation we're going to see here if Snap can move and uh, – pull within a one make it a one score game once you have a lead like that you feel like the game's over you've won so now you, the pressure is on you because you can't lose it now when you have that kind of lead but as we've seen anything can happen it often does it often does misery has so much on the line he's playing today anthony pulley he's 23 rico in, he's 23 years old but he's 38 in the series standings. So with one New Jersey event still on the line that he can attend, he needs to win today because only the top 32 make it to the championship in May in series points, and he's 38. So these points are so important for him if he wants a chance to go to L.A. and play for $500,000 prize pool. Give me that number May. one more time. Half a million. Wow. The whole pool for all year was, for Madden 17, was $1 million. One more time. Want me to do my Dr. Evil? Yes. One million dollars. But he's trying to get there, so he sits in 38th. He's, and it's, it's tough because the challenge is still going on right now, the third major, where points are still being added up. Uh, he's got to seize the day here. He's got a two-score lead, but Snap is driving back downfield. Playmaker. He's covered. Going to scramble. Gonna Derek Carr. Negative one rushing yard. Hey, but at least he didn't take the sack. He didn't throw it. You live to fight another day. And he got out of bounds. Because the clock is going to become a factor in in a minute or now so. do you if you score here do you want side kick not rico you gave us that little nugget of info at the jacksonville event we said you gotta you gotta do it because you give yourself a whole extra chance my only issue with it is you could potentially give them a field goal could be down six and then you'd be down two scores so that would be bad as far as kick a deep goes so you know what i mean so if you score here, do you go for two to make it eight just in case you don't get it? You make it five and then make it three. I got you. Oh, wow. And that's why Snap Onik told us before 
today started that Randy Moss is his favorite offensive player. He says he likes Ryan Shazier on defense, but he loves Randy Moss on offense because of that spectacular catch rating. He went up with one hand, avoided a hit, and moved the chains. He now is at the 13-yard line, and it's a second and four. Two-minute warning approaching. He doesn't help you here. There's he Moss. Needs seven. He needs seven. Five-yard play. He's moving it fast. He's in the bunch formation. Three guys to the right. He's going to hand it off to Johnson. And that's that, court, that's that animation where they want to, like, scoot the quarterback into the end zone. Uh, there it was with Johnson. But that's, like, the best possible option to not fumble. He wants to get in before this two-minute one. And high point to Green. That was not working. Off. He didn't like that. He wanted a better play. That's the Madden's hard face. He's still, he's doing like no face. That's the hope he doesn't score here face, because. Oh, wow. And Oprah sneaks in Rico. How close was that to being six the other, other way? way. <laughs> it's, as, it's as close as you can get. Without it happening. 17, 210 to go. So you got four chances to stop the clock. Does he onside kick? You know my thoughts on this. You have to, but I don't think he's going to do it. I think he's going to kick it. He's kicking gonna deep. Kick it off. He's kicking deep. 28 years old, Steve Knapp Onik, a.k.a. Snap Onik. You've seen him atop the Madden leaderboard for years. He now only trails by six in misery. Takes over on offense. At least he's going to have one extra timeout to help him with the two-minute warning. Two first downs, and this game is over. Misery trying to seal trip to the finals. Get some more points. You see him, he's got his hand on his head. He's running it through those locks. Are we are we giving him best hair of the day? By far. By far. In although, a blowout. In a blowout. Although I'm and loving the heat. Snap sideburns are a close second. Those are some phenomenal side. Those scream 90210 all over him. Look at that lettuce. Zoom <laughs> in, baby. Kids playing I, well. We need a side by side of him and Kiv for a hair off. True. <laughs> How about Stevie J? You got to put him in that in that combo. That, That's just disrespectful. Right. Young kids with the hair, man. Ah, and he stays in bounds, and that is going to force him to start using his timeouts, and then he'll start taking it after this play. But. See, I, that's a bad a lot of bounds. Now, here's where I'll disagree with that strategy. You take the timeout now. You never know what's going to happen in these next few downs. Somebody might go out of bounds you on could time. You could never get that they time might, back. Never, you can never get that time back. I like that, Rico. You have to take that timeout before first down. Right, he could throw. Because then he might decide to throw, and you save yourself one. You know right now you're not going to get those 30 seconds. Draw, he try to cut it out left, and now he's going to take that timeout that we talked about. He's got two left, and it's a second and 11. Mack in on the tackle. Snaponic needs one. He's representing that turf team squad. Wants to make a play and get the ball back for a chance. If he can just play good D here, that's going to make third down so Bats much tougher. And, her, and a big time unloads on a hit stick, and he wanted the fumble. He knows that he had a chance to get one. He may have wanted the fumble, but he needs to be happy with that tackle. Because if he missed that tackle, not only was that the game, it could have been an extra six. Third and just four. To go off. Here it is, Rico. He's only got one timeout left. Maybe Skimbo. Dot. Fitzgerald, and he goes down inbounds in misery, seals it with a wide open throw. Look, he hit the flat. That time on a short yardage situation, he was patient, and the corner got wide open. That's the difference. It came down to the last play. He needed to go ahead and get it done. Just couldn't get that stop he needed. We're going to get a chance to see the best play of football after this? Absolutely. He's going to run it off the... He's not even going to bother running it. He's going to take his time out, kneel it out, get the victory. And Misery, were you impressed with the way he played this game? Absolutely. Even though this is going to be a six-point win, unless he decides to show off and kick a field goal at the end or something like that, it's, this game wasn't as close as the score indicates. 
I felt like he was in control the whole game, established himself, and was pretty consistent throughout. Yeah, 10 seconds to go. Misery will be taken on FMB, Most Wanted, who defeated Boogs in his semifinal match. Misery looking to move on and represent the Steelers. He's from Philly in Los Angeles in the Madden Club Series Finals, live from LA on April 15th. What was the difference in that, in that game to you, Rico? Uh, I think the difference was Misery played mistake-free football. He, from the very beginning, he never gave Snap a chance to really establish anything on either side of the ball. Remember, he jumped out early, got that first stop, got a field goal, and then built on that. He never really gave Snap a chance to establish